Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I have a grocery haul and a meal plan for you today. I just got back from HEB where I do my weekly grocery shopping and I'm gonna flip you guys around, show you what I got, put everything away and then take you through my meal plan. Um, Richard and I are both home all of this week and I'm also doing a little bit of cooking for a coworker and hopefully a little bit of baking. So the haul is a bit larger than it might have been otherwise. Um, and yeah, let me show you guys what I got. All right. Here's a look at everything. Starting with produce, I got lots of fruit. Um, I wanted to have a pretty good variety of fruit, so I just got a little bit of a few things. We've got bananas, we've got apples. I got the Kanzi apples. I've gotten these in a bag before, um, and so I remembered liking them, so I'm gonna give them a try again. At least I think this is what I got. Um, some limes, those are a standard item for us. Avocado. Um, more fruit, we've got some navel oranges. These were on sale for 50 cents a piece. Grapefruits, these are not quite like on sale or in season yet, but I've been really craving them. So I just got two, they were 98 cents each. Some serranos that I'm gonna use for a dish this week. Um, some, um, a chopped salad kit. I'm gonna use this for meal preps for myself this week. I have some iceberg lettuce that I'm gonna bulk this up with. Um, and I'll use it for three salads. Um, baby spinach to have. We're going to have some salads with dinner this week and then for smoothies. Lemon juice. I'm going to meal prep um, one of my favorite recipes, which is a grilled chicken thigh with lemon and oregano. And I just didn't feel like juicing my own lemons this week, so I grabbed that. I was going to buy several of the vegetables in this pack separately and I saw this was 50% off. It was still a bit of a splurge. I think it was still like $3 or something, but um, everything is chopped. I'm going to roast these up and put these in a pasta. That is what I'm making for a coworker of mine. I'm actually going to make um, one kind of like a baked ziti with, with roasted vegetables, um, one for us and one for him. He's going through a hard time. Um, his family's going through a hard time right now, so I am bringing him a meal. So anyways, this will be nice. I can just toss these in olive oil, roast them, and then kind of chop them up a bit more after they are done. Some wraps um, just for snacks to have on hand this week. A giant thing of tortillas. I'm obviously not going to use all of these this week, but it's a much better deal to buy this giant pack. And then I can um, count them out into a dozen or so and freeze the rest. But I am going to use these for enchilada casserole this week and um, probably heat some up to have on the side when I make bisteca la mexicana one of the nights. Turkey for sandwiches. Mozzarella for the uh, pasta bake. I already have some parm on hand, so I'll mix those together. I'm using a red lentil pasta for the pasta bake that I'm making. I got three containers because these are small. I'm not sure how much I'll need if I'll end up using all three um, or if I'll just use like one box in each casserole, but either way, we really like this pasta and so it will be fine to have an extra one on hand if I don't end up using it. Okay, I also have a big container of ragu, chunky tomato, garlic, and onion sauce. I got the big container because one, I like a saucier pasta and when you do a bake, I think it soaks it up. And two, since I am making two um, like baked pastas and not one, I just got one giant container. We got some baking items, so butterscotch morsels and some um, Hershey's chocolates. They didn't have any Christmas M&Ms and they're really just decorative, so I just grabbed these. Um, some peanut butter that I also use in this, it's like a butterscotch peanut butter Chex mix that I make. Um, the recipe is for my aunt and it's so tasty. Um, actually, now that I think of it though, I think I was supposed to get regular chocolate chips and I did not do that. So I might have some on hand or I might need to stop at the store again. We'll have to see. Um, some refried beans for my enchilada casserole. Avocado oil spray. I just keep wanting to grab for this in the pantry and we don't have any, so pick some up. I like the avocado oil because you can use it for savory things, but you can also use it in baking because it doesn't really have a taste. Um, enchilada sauce. I usually make my own, but this week I'm just keeping it simple. Some ranch dressing just to have on hand. There have been a few times recently when my husband has asked if we have ranch. And because I know we're having a salad this week with the pasta, I thought, why not get a ranch dressing? It'll be good. It's one of those refrigerator ones, so I'm hoping it's good and fresh. Sour cream, milks. Um, this is just my usual half gallon of whole milk. This is the container I usually take with me to work. 
some yogurt. I got some plain Greek yogurt, the total Faye 2%. Um, I prefer to get the larger containers, but they don't sell the Faye in the larger containers at my store. And the only Chobani that they sell in the large container is a fat-free, which I don't really like. So anyways, I got three of these. And then I also wanted some flavored yogurt just to grab and go. So I got the vanilla bean. I haven't had vanilla yogurt in a long time. All right, and then a couple of snacking items for this week. I wanted some trail mix. I love this Texas Heat trail mix from HEB. It has like um, little roasted um, corn. It has pretzel sticks. It has peanuts, pepita, so it's a really good mix. And then I got the HEB brand of the Fiery Hot. These are like flaming hot Cheetos. I actually like this brand better. I'm usually not a hot fry or hot chip fan. My husband always has them. Um, in the pantry to snack on but this brand i actually like so i actually try not to buy it because i don't really want to eat a whole bunch of hot fries but anyways this is all they had so i grabbed those these are our two standard protein bars that we usually keep richard takes one to eat pretty much every day as a snack at work i get the kind crunchy peanut butter and the power crunch peanut butter fudge back here we have a thing of frozen vegetables this is going to go in the enchilada casserole that i mentioned we needed some new paper towels, some new, some more paper towels. Uh, we also needed toilet paper and I forgot to get that, but alas, it looks like I'm going back for toilet paper and probably chocolate chips. Um, Dr. Pepper, again, this will last us a few months, probably like two months, maybe three. Richard has a Dr. Pepper every once in a while when we order in. And so it's cheaper to just grab a six pack of them at the grocery store and have them on hand for when we want them than to pay, you know, two dollars for one every time that he wants one on a weekend and then this i did not just get one of these i got a six pack but they were falling apart literally falling out of the container so i already put the other ones away but i have been craving a soda and i really like the zevia brand i've never tried the grapefruit citrus and i just thought it sounded really delicious i'm interested to see if this tastes like something else like if it's going to taste like um oh my god what is that brand of soda But I'm interested to see if this is going to taste like any other brand or if it's just going to be really unique. So, oh yeah, we'll find out. And then a couple things of compostable trash bags. These are what we use to put our leaves and like yard trash in. And we have so many leaves in the front yard. So I got two containers that I think will easily go through the majority of one of the boxes. So yeah, that's everything. Let me go ahead and put everything away and then I will show you guys my meal plan. plan for the upcoming week this meal plan sheet starts on monday and it is only saturday so tonight saturday i think i'm gonna make the enchilada casserole that i mentioned and we'll have leftovers for lunch tomorrow sunday nights we usually order in and so yeah let me walk you through the week right here instead of putting priorities i put the things i'm gonna meal prep for us for the week so um, i'm gonna make this lemon chicken um, for both me and richard and he will have his with potatoes and green beans and I will have mine as a salad. I'm also thinking I'm going to make some cranberry whole wheat cranberry muffins. I need to look up a recipe but I have a bag of cranberries to use up and that sounds like it would be a delicious breakfast. All right during the week on Monday I'm going to make a roasted chicken with vegetables and mashed potatoes. When I make a whole roasted chicken I use Ina Garten's recipe and sometimes I do a spatchcock because it's quicker but I want to do a whole roasted chicken this week because I have a lot of fresh herbs um, on hand that I want to use and that will be delicious. Tuesday I'm going to bake that ziti. Um, tomorrow Sunday I'm going to meal prep. I'm also going to prep the pastas and I am staying for a winter wonderland event at work on Tuesday evening so that'll be something easy to just throw into the oven um, already having it prepped. Wednesday I'm going to make bisteca la mexicana. The recipe is from um, a cookbook um, by Melly Martinez. It's absolutely delicious. It's one of my favorite recipes in there. 
Thursday. I'm thinking it'll be like leftovers or breakfast for dinner. I'm going to a Rockets game that night. So um, Richard will be kind of on his own for dinner that evening. And then Friday, I'm gonna make, um, I think this Zatar chicken with um, a really easy rice and vegetable because we are going to a friend's for a game night later in the night, but I think that'll be quick beforehand. And then I'm leaving Saturday and Sunday open and we will just see what we make and what we have left over. So yeah, that is the meal plan for this week. Thank mm -hmm. you.